Now, in this video, we're going to do this figure using 3D modeling of SOLIDWORKS. Let's start! But first, make the units to IPS. So to make this base, right plane, sketch, then create a rectangle, then use smart dimension. It should be 3.75 just like in the figure. This, then another one is 0 0.38. Then the next thing we need to do is create another rectangle inside this rectangle. Then, click this line, right click, select midpoint, control, then select this point, then make it vertical relation. Then, use smart dimension in the units of 2.26. Then, Another one is zero point zero six. After that, we need to go to extruded base for us to have a three D model. We need to change the measurements to three units. Then select this plane. But before that, make a mid plane after that we need to fillet this every edge in order to have this curve use fillet then type the units which is 0 0.5 then select those edge check so after that make it isometric Then select quad plane, then control 8 and control 8. After that, we need to make a center line or a guideline in this part. And we will use escape, we will use smart dimension. The measurement for this line is 2.66 and for this line is 2.38 after that we need to define the angle of this slant line or oblique line so we need to use smart dimension then click this point then click this right arrow and drag it and type 30 degrees as it angles so after that, temporarily, we need to hide the measurement. Then, zoom out. Use a plane. Then select this line. And for this line, is the space. Check. So, after that, control 8. Then, Sketch and control 8 again. Then we need to make another rectangle. So center rectangle. Point here or any point you want. After that, select this line. Select midpoint, control, and click here. Make it horizontal. Then, click this point and this point 
and choose coincident. So we need to use smart dimension in order for us to have a fully defined figure. So for this line, the units is 1.88 and for this one is 2.38. So the next thing we need to do is to use extrude. Then change the direction and type 0 0.31 check and this time again we need to use fillet for those edges so use fillet and type 0 0.31 so it's okay click those edges then okay so after that Temporarily, we need to hide those object above. So, hide this, also this part, then select this space, sketch, and control it. We need to make a rectangle. So, from the center up to this point, check and create another rectangle. In order for us to have a shortcut, just add the relation for this two and use equal relation. So after that, use smart dimension for this and type 0 0.31. Escape, then select this line. Select midpoint, control, then make a relation to this point or to the center and make it horizontal. So after that, we need to extrude this rectangle. But before that, we need to hide it first or temporarily, then unhide this part. Then use extrude and select this part and this part. Then change A to up to the surface. Then select this surface. Check. So as we can see, it's already connected. So after that, we need to uh, create this land part just like in the figure. In order to do that, Sketch, Control A, and make a line. So from this endpoint to this point, downward, and temporarily hide it to make it a hidden line. Then, for the next one is this part of the space. So sketch, Control A, create a line. From this point up to this point, going to the left and downward. Then check, then just like what we did earlier, hide it first. Then so use locked cut, then select this part and this part. Then check. So as we can see is already removed and for the other side we'll use mirror then select this part and point so check then there's the result so as you can see already made the slant part so after that we need to make the hole in the picture or in this object those hole from this base and this base so in order to make those hole so we will use full wizard then select position select this space control 8 then point out from this edge until it pierce the center since it is a semicircle 
so tight so make sure that it is ANSI inch then the size is 5 over 16 close then show costume sizing is 0 0.31 and make sure it is up to the surface so as you can see from this bottom part then to finally complete it click this rectangle then point out this bottom view then ok then as you can see we already made the four holes so after that we need to make another four holes so select this space features and use hole wizard positions and control 8 then just like what we did before type so we'll only change the sizing or the show custom sizing to 0 0.38 and again make sure it is up to the surface or bubble 16 close and ansi inch then drag down then select this rectangle and point this part or this space and check so as we can see I already completed the holes so after that we need to make this punch hole or this hole so in order to do that click this space sketch control 8 and create a circle so create two circles after that use smart dimension and for this big circle the measurement is 0 0.75 for this one is 0 0.50 so check again use smart dimension from the center point up to this point so the height is 1.38 then from this point to this point is 0.5 escape or check after that so we need to extrude it but first make it offset and type point to the units or inches so change this so type 1.38 after that selected contours select this part and this part and check so after that we need to use extrude cut in order to have the hole in the middle so for that like sketch 16, extrude cut, then change it to true all both, then select contour, so delete, and select this part, so check, so as we can see, we already made the figure, so as you can see, we already made the figure, so for now, thank you for watching. And God bless.